Hey, over here. Well, I'm a lumberjack, but you probably already knew that because of my traditional lumberjack shirt and these here suspenders. Now, lumberjacks cut down trees. Trees make paper. You know what else makes paper? Steam. We're gonna talk about it today. But right now, I have to fell this large tree. Anything else? So we all know that trees are used to make paper. Now before the tree can be used to make paper, we have to break it down into wood chips. Massive, massive piles of wood chips. Now I did some research and here's what you need to know about the wood chip. It's made up of pretty much three main elements, water, cellulose fiber, which is what we really make paper out of, and this stuff called lignin, which is like a natural glue that has to be separated from the cellulose fiber. Here is where the steam comes in. We're gonna put everything into a big, basically a large pressure cooker called a digester. In go the wood chips, in go some water, and in go this cooking liquid called white liquor. Lid goes on it, and high pressure steam around 340 or 350 degrees is gonna be placed in the vessel depending on who's doing the cooking. Now, that high pressure steam and temperature is gonna force that white liquor into the wood chips and the lignin is gonna be separated from the cellulose fiber. So you're left with really two things. You're left with this pulpy, almost cooked oatmeal kind of substance, which is wood pulp, and then a, uh, a dark substance, which is the separated lignin and water and it's called black liquor. From there, the wood pulp heads on to the next step of the process towards making paper. Now, if you stick with me next week, I'm going to tell you how steam affects that black liquor and what it's used for, because that's really kind of cool. So I hope you'll stick with me next week for that. I hope you'll send me some emails or some ideas at steamcultureatwearing.com, because I like to get those. I hope you'll find us on social media, because we're everywhere. And I hope you'll join me next Friday for a new episode. I'll see you then.